I'm going to be putting this in as part of the video on how to make these micro tiny ISP boards, which are clones of uh, the Lady Ada tiny ISP. Um, but this is its own independent video. It'll be cut in if you're watching that one. And uh, what I found at one point was I was in the emergency room for one of the many things I'm in the emergency room for. And they have this stuff they'll put on your, your arm when you get an IV, and it's called Tegraderm. I asked them for a little patch, and they explained it to me, and it was really neat. The, the funny thing is, you'll notice that it lets your skin breathe. Cool thing is, it also lets silicone breathe. So what you can do is you can take regular old silicone too here. I have some clear silicone, um, just cheap as dirt stuff at a local hardware store. Then you can take the Tegraderm. Sorry if this gives anybody willies from uh, last time they went to the doctors. Peels off. And uh, you have that right there. I usually like to peel off my uh, outside in advance since it's really forgiving stuff. Okay. Then you take some silicone, you uh, kind of glob it around everywhere here. You can try to get it through uh, underneath the parts. So that looks really ugly. So you're not going to want to pot it like that. What you can do though is now you can take the Tegraderm, lay it over top, punch a hole where any of the connectors are. Since it is strong and as great as it is for uh, resisting puncture, wow, this really sticks to paper. It will puncture if you use sharp objects. You can stretch that around any kind of connectors you need to stretch it around. So now, take this and stretch it over our part. As you go down, you'll notice that it makes a really nice clean seal over the whole thing. Ah. And you can wrap it around the back to keep it all nice and self-contained. Kind of massage it around until it's to your liking. And so this is a really nice, uh, good feel to it. And I'm going to just let it sit here and uh, cure. But what I do have is I have another one that's already done that. This here is what the final product looks like. It just bounces, it's pretty resistant, because everything on here has uh, some basic protection on it from ESD. I've actually never had a single one of these break so far. I've been using them for about two years. Um, they're just uh, pretty good. This potting method has worked very well for me.